Hi, this is Will, uh, and I'm going to be doing a short demo of the new probe module that I've been working on. Uh, this is the Universal G-Code platform version of UGS, uh, and I've got a camera plug-in loaded so that you can see my machine while going through this demo. So to open up the new module, it is under plugins in the window tab here, and you just select probe module. Now this will bring up a new tab next to the console, and under settings, you'll want to fill in the diameter of the end mill you're using, along with a couple other settings that you probably won't change too often. So the rates of feed for when you're seeking and probing during the various operations. So let me get connected, start setting up the machine, and I'll show you a few of the different options here. Helps if you turn on your machine first. All right, so I'll get started by homing the machine. If I reposition the camera, you can see I've got a small piece of oak mounted in my machine, and I'm going to just jog the end mill over. Now this is designed to use one of these corner plates. You can see that it just has a little indentation down here. And what you're going to want to do is measure the height along with the x and y distances here. If you have one of these micrometers, this is perfect for it. Otherwise, you know, you can get one of these cheap indicators here, and that'll work fine as well. So, I put the plate right in the corner of this piece, and this has a nice little magnet. Stick it right there to close the circuit. Okay. Now the closer you get, the better. All right. So we're going to start with the Z probing. I've already gone ahead and measured the thickness of my plate. I will be saved every time you run the program. And in this case, we're going to be probing in the negative direction here. Now, before I go on, let me just clear out my current location. And you can see the visualizer has uh, a little representation of what is about to happen. And this is actually fairly large because it is designed to show up while you have your G-code open. So here you can see what's about to happen. Now one interesting thing here, if you change the values here, it'll actually update the graphic. 
So you have a really quick way to verify what these settings are actually doing. So the probe distance and direction, you change that to a positive number. It's going to show up above the unknown. That's not what we want. So I'm just going to leave it at negative 10. Now the same is true for the gray puck here. So if I change that from 20 to 2, you can see it's now much smaller. And that's going to be used for the final offset after the probing is done. So now that I'm all set up, I'll click the probe button. And you see it did a double tap there, moving quickly feeding down to seek the location and then a slower probe to actually measure it. Now we can double check that it worked properly. And there we go. Very close. I don't think I could even fit a sheet of paper beneath that right now. Okay, so moving on. Not quite enough. Okay. So now we can try the XY probing. And again, I'm going to clear out the previous measurements. So here you can see we have another representation of the tool we're using. In this case, it's the corner plate. And if you'd like, you can turn off some of these extra pieces that may not be needed right now. And just look exactly at this new visualizer element. So, we zoom in a little bit. Let's see. My machine is a little bit slow while doing the recording. Okay, this isn't working. There we go. So you can see that we're going to be starting in the lower left corner here. And this is actually configurable. If we change the directions here, we can probe in whatever corner we like. For this demo, I would like to, uh, let's see. Start from the lower left corner of my plate. So now I'll just move the machine to that position. There we go. And again, let's reset those offsets. You can see there's no movement in the Z direction, so we need to make sure the bit is low enough to do that measurement. Okay, so that looks like it's positioned where I need it. So we'll go ahead and click measure outside corner. And now we have our location set. So if I move this out of the way, we can go ahead and reset the X, Y, zero location. So you can see 
So it's generally in the right location here. Okay. So for the final module, I'm going to move back up. Flip my plate back in location. And switch to the XYZ probe. And again, reset. Now there's a little glitch here that's not putting a tool right above here. That's only because I just ran the XY probe. Typically, that's not something we would do. But if you look at the graphic, you can see uh, you want to go right at the corner here, and it's going to do a Z probe, followed by moving over in the X direction and doing an X probe, and then moving again to do a Y probe. So I will go ahead and run that. Mm. It's moving really slow here because my machine is pretty bogged down by making the recording. So now since we've zeroed all three axes, we can actually zero all three coordinates. And there we go, it's now perfectly set for all three axes. So this feature is available in the platform version of UGS, the nightly builds currently. And if you have any feedback, I'd be happy to hear it. But so far I'm pretty happy with uh, the performance of it. So I hope you enjoy the feature. Thanks.